Hey guys, they don't want me to have another video, but I'm back with another one. We the best. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna show you my New Year's Eve makeup look and just one of my personal favorite makeup looks to wear ever. It's all about having a super glowy skin look and just glowy everything. And with this look, I'm gonna show you many different lip colors that you can wear with it. Um, if you wanna add a pink, if you wanna add a red, if you want something that's more coral, if you want a berry, if you want a deeper red, or if you want brown. I got them all covered for you, so if you guys wanna know how I got this look, please keep watching. I'm starting off with my Makeup Store Studio Foundation in the color Camel. This is a cream foundation, so it is heavier, so I like to take a foundation brush and share it out onto my face and really spread the product. Now I'm taking my beauty sponge and I'm adding two drops of my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir to it and I'm really shearing out and blending out the foundation. This is a great technique to make the foundation less heavy. It really spreads the foundation out and it gives it a really beautiful dewy finish which I absolutely love. You guys have to try this method out if you haven't tried it already. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. So today's look is all about really dewy glowy skin so you really want to work that product into your skin. For my concealer today I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime in the color Light Boost. This is a very lightweight coverage concealer so if you have darker circles I suggest using something a little heavier than this but this is one of my personal favorites. I feel like it's something I can wear for every day and it doesn't feel too heavy or anything like that and it adds a really nice highlight and glow to the skin. So I first apply that on with the actual product and then I blend it out with my damp sponge. I'm going to be setting that concealer in place just in the centers of my face wherever I get oily with my Marc Jacobs Instamark setting powder. This is the yellow color. I absolutely love this. As you can tell, I've hit pan. I think my New Year's resolution is to not make these hideous faces in my makeup tutorials like cool every single time. It's so annoying. I try so hard, but then I just keep doing it again and again and again. <laughs> now to bronze up my face, I'm using the Laura Mercier Baked Bronze in the number 04. I don't like a full structured contoured look whenever I'm going for a glowy looking skin. So I'm just using this to really bronze my face up. And since my hair is up, I like to really get into the hairline so it blends nice and evenly. Um, I kind of use this as a slight contour, but not really, it's more of a bronzer. Then for my blush today, I'm using the Lorac Tantalizer Bronzer, which is so beautiful. It just gives the most beautiful sheeny glow to your cheeks. For my highlight, Later today I'm mixing champagne pop and pearl and I don't know why I just went off screen like that but I'm just taking champagne pop first and I'm applying this to all the high points of my face so bridge of my nose tip of my nose mustache area because I love me a glow stash <laughs> and then I'm also going on the very high points of my cheekbones and I am NOT using a light hand with this I want to be beaming with this highlighter, so I'm going pretty heavy with the highlighter. Of course, if you don't like such a strong highlighter, you can use something that's more subtle. Um, and then I'm gonna take the pearl shade, which is the lightest color in the palette. It is very, very, very light, so if you're my skin tone or deeper, you can't use that color on its own, but it's great to layer. I just like to put this at the highest point of my cheekbone and my nose and my highlight mustache, just to add a little bit more glow and intensity. Now I'm moving on to the eyes. I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Ebony. And I'm just filling in my brows however I normally fill in my brows. I like to keep mine more straight. So while I take forever to fill in my brows, leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys have planned for tonight. Are you going to go out? Are you going to stay in? Let me know what kind of makeup you're going to wear. I just want to know it all. Leave me comments down below. And if you're going to be recreating one of my looks, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you do post on Instagram. I love seeing your guys' recreations. They make me so happy. Then I'm just setting my eyebrows in place with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm grabbing my bronzer again and just blending out any, 
any creasage that may be on my lid. And I'm taking a big fluffy brush and I'm taking my bronzer and I'm popping this into my crease. Now this is just gonna add a little bit of warmth to the crease. It's gonna add a little definition, a little depth, and it's gonna pull the entire look together. And I also like to add the bronzer to my lower lash line just to give it a little bit more smokiness. But it's very, very, very subtle. So this bronzer isn't insanely dark or anything like that, so that's why I'm using my fluffy brush and being lazy on my lower lash line, but if your bronzer is pretty dark for your skin tone, then use a smaller brush because you don't want to look like you got punched in the face or bring back any dark circles with that bronzer. Now I'm taking Champagne Pop and I'm applying this all over the entire lid. This eye makeup look is so easy, believe me. And then I'm taking Pearl, which is the lightest shade, and I'm popping that right in the centers of the lid and and in the inner corner to add more highlight and more glow. Now it's time for mascara, or you can pop on some falsies. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, and I'm going ham on the mascara. Like I'm applying a lot of mascara because I really want the eyes to stand out. So this is gonna take me like 20 years. This makeup look is so easy to do and I kid you not, every single time I've worn this makeup look out, I've gotten so many compliments on it and I always wonder like, hey, this is like the easiest makeup look I've ever done in my life and every time I post this look on Instagram, you guys are like, oh my god, makeup tutorial. So here it is for you guys finally and I hope you guys try it out because it's so easy and it looks flattering on everyone. For my lips today, I'm just roughly lining them with my Real Colors Nudist Lip Liner and I'm filling them in with a lip glow. I never wear lip gloss. Well, I do. Every day I pretty much wear lip gloss, but in my tutorials I never use gloss. And this one is by Soap and Glory and it's called Nude in Town and it is a plumping gloss. It's my favorite gloss ever. I keep it in my purse because I wear it every single time I go out. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara on my lower lashes to really open up the eyes and bring some focus to the eyes. You could pop something in your waterline if you'd like as well, like a black or a brown or a nude or a white, but I just like to keep my waterline bare and just really focus on the lashes. I'm just going to flick off any mascara that may have blobbed because I'm super messy and there is the entire look done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new and I really hope you guys try out this makeup look because it's so easy and it's so flattering for everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Now I'm just going to show you guys different lip colors that you can wear with this look. Um, this is my personal favorite right here with just a gloss but this look is so versatile you can wear any lip color that you want. You can go for a pink, a red, you got your corals, you can do a berry, you can do a deep red or you can do a brown which I absolutely love love as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for making my 2015 so incredible. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and I will see you guys next year. Bye!